we have bought ourselves a Yawn King Size inflatable airbed. So we've this time we've bought the Outdoor Revolution, which again we've looked around and everybody seems to recommend these as being one of the most comfortable chairs you can get. We've just gone from what people seem to say, and everybody reckons this Camper Diddy heater is the a really good one to get. We've got a big tent, so whether it'll keep us warm, um, we're yet to find out. Hopefully it will do. So, we've come camping, uh, start of the new year, new season. We have bought ourselves a Yawn King Size inflatable airbed. Now, there you go. This is, now everybody raves about these, but <laughs> we'll see if they're really that good. So, do not have a clue. Um, so we've come camping, took it out of the box to fit it in the car. Don't know, I hope it's got instructions inside it. Or oh, something. Does it inflate itself or do we have to do it? Let's have a look. I hope it reflects itself. Right. There it is. King Electric Airbed. Oh, right. So, before we can go anywhere, need a socket. Yeah. We've now got power. So, let's see how this goes. Are they as good as they say they are? To start off with, I can't even get the lead in. That's probably me. I never was much good at the scouts. Right, so, take it to roll it out. And, I take it we just plug it in. Now, on, take it and flight. Last year we came camping. We had the thinner airbeds and they kept on deflating. So after looking round and round, all the different reviews and various like Facebook groups and everything, it seems to be a unanimous sort of decision. Right, so that was five minutes to put, put that and inflate. Um, I was actually inflating it there. It does have a valve around the back, as you can see. Um, I had the valve open, so it probably will go up in about three minutes. Now, the joy of this is the fact that because it's an electric, uh, electrically operated valve and pump, if it does go down slightly, it's not much hassle to put back up. Obviously, you do need an electric hookup, though, which we fortunately have. But um, so what I'll do, move it in. I'm sure Amy will test this for me. If we bounce enough, it like nobody's business. We've got the Van Gogh Castle out, which is like a big tent, and um, that seems quite a home in there, doesn't it? Do you want to sit on it, Amy? Let us know what you think. Go on then. Yeah, so. What Amy, do you think? Amy likes it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be used as a trampoline while we're here. <laughs> um, so we're here for seven nights. We're coming out to Devon for seven nights. Um, we've got another few bits we're going to put on videos that we're going to try out. And uh, we're going to give you a, our honest opinion of everything that we bought. We, what we've done is gone for the recommendation of everything. So we've got like a camper diddy Daddy, heater, because that's what everybody recommended. The yawn airbed, because that's again what everybody recommended. I don't know where. 
brother is. But what we'll do is we'll keep you in updated as we go along through this video. So here for seven nights, how comfortable is it? It certainly looks comfortable. How comfortable is it? How often do you have to inflate it? And what, how do we rate it at the end of our seven nights? Hunt, it's got a non it's, Oh, Hunt, that is lush. That is so different. Right, get that mat, Hunt, with an anti-slip mat. Right, so it also comes, oh, sorry, with an anti-slip mat, or sheet, which is fantastic. So we've actually, unlike, I know some people bring quilts, etc. Um, we've just brought sleeping bags, and we normally end up with one of the kids in sleeping with us. And so we are rolling around Daddy, everywhere. Daddy, so Daddy. if we've got anything that stops us yeah. sliding off, that's all the better. That? Right, I'll put this on. Daddy, what is that? So, to uh, Yawn, the king size inflatable mattress that we're trying out this time. We've also, again, uh, last time we had a Van Gogh inflatable sofa, which, although good, just wasn't comfortable. It was okay for a three night stay, but any longer than three nights, um, I couldn't walk after sitting down with back with so sore. That and the unreliable airbag. So we've this time, we've bought the Outdoor Revolution, which, again, we've looked around and everybody seems to recommend these as being one of the most comfortable chairs you can get. Now straight away you can tell the material is certainly good quality. Now again it's how you pump these up. I take it this isn't electric unfortunately. This will be. Yeah how to inflate. Locate the valve and I'm not blowing it up. So what I will do is we'll take it to the car. We've got an electric pump. Use the electric pump, pump it up see what it feels like doing the first impressions is it comfortable I hope so because they do cost in the region of hundred pound um, so give me five minutes and I'll go and inflate it inflated in about two two and a half minutes uh, obviously with an electric pump not with me blowing so let's start with feels. Oh wow, that is so different. <laughs> yeah, this is really comfortable. Um, this is very comfortable. You can see why it costs a bit more than the normal inflatable chairs. Like I said, the Van Gogh one, all, all, although good, there was no stability. With this, it seems just very rigid, which is really, really comfortable. So for a longer stay, this is ideal. I know you can buy these in the single, the single chairs and you can also get the footrest. They are quite expensive. We got this in a Go Outdoors special just before Christmas. So it was about £90. We went to Go Outdoors last week. It was about £125. But if you, I think if you're going to go longer than three days camping, this is probably a must. But we'll let you know. We're here for seven days. Whether we've got to keep inflating it on the, every other day, I'll let you know. We normally do with a lot of inflatables. Hopefully this will be different. But, um, yeah, really, really impressed with this. But we'll let you know what it's like at the end of seven days. We've also invested in, like, we've looked around, we've done all our research, and just gone from what people seem to say. And everybody reckons this Camper Diddy heater is a really good one to get. We've got a big tent, so whether it'll keep us warm, um, we're yet to find out. Hopefully it will do. Right, so outdoor revolution chair. You saw us put it up at the beginning of the week. Um, this at the end, at the end of our week-long stay. Comfort, definite, sort of nine, ten out of ten. Really comfortable. It had, we have had to inflate it a couple of times during the week, but yeah, that doesn't it doesn't put a dampener on it at all definitely worth getting 
I mean, we've only got the four of us. I think if you add more people, you would consider getting another one. We've got the two other inflatables, the, the, the cheap bean baggy type things for the children. But for us, we found this is more than accommodating. <laughs> Definite would buy, you know. I know they're going up in price, it seems, every week on Go Outdoors. So if you are looking to get one, I'd get one sooner rather than later. But yeah, definite impression of the buy on this. The yawn airbed. Okay, so this is what we bought. You saw us putting it up and inflating it at the start of the week, or you saw myself putting it up. This, um, Janice and I agree, is probably one of the best buys we've done for camping. It's incredible. It's so comfortable. They're literally, yeah, it's fantastic. I can't compliment it enough. Um, We've had to inflate it twice in seven night period, just like, not completely, just put a little bit more air in, but um, we'd re we're gonna buy one, as soon we're gonna buy another as soon as we get back home, put it that way. That's, we're that impressed with how comfortable this is. Um, certainly, it's so easy, but it obviously you just need the electric hookup. But if you have got an electric hookup and you are going camping, can't fault it at all. We'd definitely recommend buying right. one. Comfort wise, this is as comfortable as our bed at home. You know, we've got thousand pounds worth of bed at home and I think I might just use this instead. <laughs> it's brilliant. Inflate it, deflate it, hide it away. No, it's really comfortable. Uh, we've used it with, a, so we've actually got a, um, a double size sleeping bag we've used, but it's a king size bed. Um, and we, but we will probably now buy another one of these yawn air beds king size I think you can pick them up for around about hundred pounds on Amazon comes with the fitted sheet so they, you do there are packages out there for both cannot recommend this enough as far as air beds go 10 out of 10 so Kemper Diddy bought this for the start of the week right so we've got to be fair to this we do have we've got the Casa Van Gogh Luck so it's like seven eight birth ten this did not keep us warm at all in fact we could have all sat around a candle and we would have more got, got more heat from this. Um, as fan heaters go, you had it on the highest, it has 750 and 1500 watt setting. We had it on the highest, and I believe if you held your hand about 18 inches away, you actually couldn't feel any additional heat. So what we did end up doing, um, because it was quite cold on our, our trip here, we've actually invested in a fan blower from Tool Station, 11.99, really good. If it was oscillating, it would be even better. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, Camper Diddy, good for a van, probably, or a two man tent. For anything bigger, not a viable solution, really. Okay? You know? That's it. Thank you. <laughs>